This is a great village. Kakariko Village. Uh, you alright, man? <laughs> Nana. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Jeepers. Hmm, let's see here. Stop walking! Ah. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. What? Ah. Say, traveler. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see. Yep, super explanation. Oh. Yes, I see. That Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. So there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Sheikah... Wait, there's Sheikah? No way, how did I not know it? What the heck? But we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet our leader, Lady Impa. Where is she? Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. Huh, I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Thanks. Oh nice, horse is kinda doing it on some. We go to the left. Yes. Yeah. Nope. Fine. Don't worry. Oh dang, I don't have an apple. What? Calm down. Cotto. You there. Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a chic a slate? But that would mean you are No, it's in... it's not possible. Can it be? Yes. Oh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legend from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Thanks. Oh man, <laughs> Paya. Huh? Is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Le Lin. Uh. Oh, it's not that. I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is P P P. Oh my name. My name is Paya. Phew! I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm s sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting, been awaiting your return ever since I was little. P please hurry inside. Thanks. So, you're finally awake. Yes. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Nope. Ah. Imagine after a hundred years seeing somebody. It's crazy. Impa, what's the matter? You are looking as at me as though I am a stranger to you. Yep. Those eyes. They lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Oh. 
hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words that she wished to say to you. I've been waiting 100 years to, to deliver the princess's message. How old are you? Oh. However, these words, which the princess risks, risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Alrighty. The words that the princess risked, risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Yes. <laughs> ha. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Oh. A 
hundred years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Goodness sakes. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Four divine beasts? The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons, wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudanya, I hope that's how it's said, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Vamado, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The divine beast Varuta, controlled by Mitha of the, of the Zora. And the divine beast Vanaboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Garuda. Yeah. It would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast beasts to help you. I've seen some people do it without the divine beasts. Well, not seen them. I've heard of that happening though, because I don't want spoilers for the ending. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away from by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Nice. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. All right. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Just the hand in the back, that's so funny. <laughs> now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatino Village might be able to help you. Hatino Village? Yep, that's where we're headed next. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hatino Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Okay. <laughs> well, there's that main quest. No, I'm just kind of gonna check out the village. Try to unlock stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep the horse over... I don't want to crush these children. Over here somewhere. Oh, this cooking station seems like a good idea. Right here. Okay. So I gotta get used to this village again. And there's a couple of uh, little side quests you can do here. So this is uh, High Spirits Produce. Check this out. Hi. Steen. Hey, Trissa. Aren't you tired? Don't you hate talking to weird customers? Aren't you chilly? Have you eaten yet? Trissa. Hee <laughs> hee, stop being such a worry wart, you old coot. <laughs> Thanks. So I can just buy the stuff? Yeah. Um. I don't need any of these right now. The Curious Quiver. It's pretty obvious what this place is. Hello, I need more arrows. Yeah. Rola. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come into the shop. Well, don't mind me. Take your time looking around. Farewell. Uh... Kid, you've lifted my spirits so high I can barely contain myself. I even miss my husband at the moment just a tiny bit. <laughs> just a tiny bit. <laughs> 
What was that? Oh, I think that was the door closing. Alright, I wanna buy all this. All of them. So all of them that will for these. Okay. My my, you aren't me. I'll be sure to make some more for you. Thank you. This one. All of them. Alright. That's 43 arrows. Nice. I'm not buying those. It's too expensive. I already know. Okay, this is probably the inn. Yeah. Shut eye in. Of course, they're sleeping. I definitely don't need an inn. Oh. Might have to do a thing for them, though. Ooh. Ollie. Eck, are you a, a guest? I suppose so. You s scared me half to death. Aww. Well, the regular bed is 20 rupees, 40 rupees for the soft bed. The difference? Aww. Soft bed is stuffed with premium cocoa feathers or something, I think. Sleep on that and, um, you know, you'll be more energized than usual. Ooh. Thanks. Aww. Oh, okay, you sleep great, though. Oh, you'd sleep great, though. I'm good. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, this guy. Steam. Hmm? Do you need something? I haven't seen you around here before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Oh, yes, I remember now. It was long ago when the calamity hit, but you just- you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. That was me. <gasps> Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back then? Yep. <laughs> uh, ha, ha. Young people these days sure do like their jokes. <laughs> if you were really that noble swordsman, you'd have the legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. You see, the thing about that sword swordsman is he trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. <laughs> he strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots, too. That's why my grandfather always used to say, anyway. Oh. So I suggest you stop joking around all the time and instead have a carrot and try to be more like a swordsman. Thanks. Ah. Looking for carrots? You can buy some over at my old lady's shop. If you want to be strong like that legendary swordsman, I surely don't mind lending a hand. Thanks. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a pot load. I'm sure I could cook something. Who are you? Oh, that's Paya. Oh, it's you, Master Link. Please don't sneak up on me like that. Is something the matter? Do you need something from me? What you doing? I was just polishing the guardian deities. These deities are like signposts that guide us through our lives. Master Link, I want you to know that the path you are walking down is one we should all follow. I, I'm afraid doing stuff like this is the only thing I can do to help you. Thanks. Painter. Coco. I don't want to throw that in the fire. Oh, no. Nice. Are you drawing that? Painting? Wow, it looks great. Oh. Picongo. Hmm? Are you- sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Oh. Just between you and me. I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near the village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Yep, you're not wrong. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow some kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details on that. Those villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. But I won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, okay. So here's a prayer statue. I don't have enough spirit orbs to use it yet, though. 
You've conquered the shrines and claimed the spirit orbs. Oh, you. I can offer you great power, but you do not have four spirit orbs. Seek out the shrines scattered across the high across Hyrule and face more challenges. Once you have claimed four spirit orbs, return to me. Thank you. Nice flowers. Very cute. Enchanted. Hi. So what does this do again? Traditional dress trousers of high roll. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Pretty sure these are just for uh just higher armor. How much are they? Sixty each. Oh, 120, 90, goodness sakes. I might have enough for that, but I don't know. This is like sneaky armor. Oh! Clary. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. By the way, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. Thanks. Goodness, 500? 700 and 600, yeah. Not ready for those, but I could buy these. Because I'm still wearing this. Oh wait, I'm already wearing those pants. So I didn't even have to buy them. Nice! Right? Helium trousers? Hylian? Okay. So I just have to buy these then. Let's get this. Well, it's actually only three. But I'm, I don't know if the next time I'll be able to get more armor. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Let's do it. Thanks, take good care of it. Okay. Thanks, I'll be sure to stock up for you. I don't think I'll be buying more. I want my shirt. Ah. Everything here is part of a specially curated Clary collection. Please take your time looking around. I want to sell. <laughs> this. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Being stuck in this tiny town, I am. I get pretty excited about stuff from the outside. I'm always happy to take a look at what you've collected, so come back if you ever want to sell anything. Do you need something else? Go on, ask me anything. No. Come back anytime. What's this? Rumor Mill, Volume 1. Oh, might as well. Who loves gossip more than a solid three meals a day? What? Tracy, of course. And anyone else reading this, I'm sure. <laughs> Today's top gossip spot is... The Lover's Pond. Yeah, I know this one. Legend says that those who find this pond are sure to also find their true love. Sounds worthwhile to me. Tracy's recommendation, five star. <laughs> okay. Nice. Best armor. Everyone's going to be sleeping right now. Whoa. Imagine sleeping with chickens. How do you fit in here? Aw, oh, dang. Okay, here we go. A lot of people are getting sleeping. Hello? Oh, coming in? Cute. Do they live alone? Hi. Vulcan. Ha! Huh. It's a it's rare to see a young lad like you in a village like this. You aren't part of the Iga clan, are you? No. 
Huh, I'm just pulling your leg. You looked so serious, I couldn't help but go to you a bit. We call those who swear allegiance to Calamity Ganon the Ega Clan. Ah. Well, it's just... Let's just say they don't talk, take kindly to those who would stand against Ganon. Why would anyone like Ganon? Makes no sense. It seems they're active again ever since that big earthquake the other day. But don't worry. I don't think you're part of that awful Yuga clan. I can figure th that much out just by looking at you. Please don't hold it against me. Here, take this in exchange. Fortified pumpkin. Thank you. <laughs> Fortified, Fortified pumpkins are Kakariko village villages specialty. I put my heart and soul into every one of them. They're delicious. If you want more, I can give you some. Just stop by the fields and say hello. Thanks. I'll go up there in a minute. First wanna go around the village and see what I can do. Hi. Is that that old person I was talking to? Up there. I think so. Oh, that's okay. I just talked to him. Oh, there's some sneaky rubber snails. I don't remember what you can cook with these. Hi. Lastly? Hey, how could you be so rude bothering a lady in her room and at night of all times? Huh? Isn't that a Sheikah Slate? Are you the hero grandmother told me about? The legendary swordsman of the Great Calamity? Wow, I figured you'd be all old and wrinkly by now. But you're so... But you so are not. Thanks. Young people like me have a hard time wrapping our heads around something like the Great Calamity. Aww. Huh. Judging by the look on your face, I dare say you're having a hard time with it too. You must be kidding me. I don't know about that kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure the hero of legend, the hero of legend, is on like a quest or something. I'm uh, running a clothing shop here, so stop by if you're looking for something cute to wear. Yep, I already did. Who's this? Oh, that's Nana. So who was the other old person over here? Oh, there's that shrine. Okay. Pretty sure that's all the houses in the village. Did I go that one? Yeah. Okay, let's go unlock that shrine. And then the fairy fountain, which is up here. Nice apples. I can put that at the those statues down there. One more, but I'm not gonna get it. Oh, is this an easy one? Dang. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight something. Do I have... I don't remember how hard these are when you're a beginner, so let's do that. Can I just grab these chests? Thanks, Eightfold Blade. That's convenient. They're clearly gonna tell you that you're going to be fighting. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Oh, of course. Oh, let's equip that. No, I want to keep that. Uh, let's drop this one. Thank you. Now... Fight. Glad I got all 
all this arrows. Oh, this is an easy one. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Target, strafe, jump. It doesn't move? Okay. So you just do it. Hi. Oh. Well, that's a easy flurry rush. Jump out of the way of an attack at the last moment to execute that. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay. Come on. You can repel an attack if you parry with the, your shield at the right time. So it is parrying. Strike back me, okay. So parry is with A, okay. Oh, I didn't do it in time. Try again. Oh. I didn't get to read whatever was the right. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion. Okay. Bam. Correct. <laughs> you have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. Thank you. Uh, let's throw that away. Guardian sword. Those are super awesome for lightning areas. And another chest. Awesome. Opal. Good money. All right, now let's head to the fairy fountain. That'll be super helpful. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Drop rupees if you hit them. Okay, is there fairies? You might have to unlock it for- Oh, just kidding. These guys are super helpful. If you die, you're immediately replenished full health. So let's collect a bunch of these. Pretty sure you can make food for them too, but I'm good. Real. Too high up. Let me wait for that one. Fairy. You can just eat them plain. It's five hearts. Nice. About this one. Come on. Oh, nice. Silent Princess. What is that? Oh, Swift Carrots? Oh, Endura Carrots. Oh, there's another fairy. Nice. Pretty sure it's all of them. So it's like four respawns. Oh. 
boy. Sweet boy. Please listen to my story. Sure. I am the great fairy Katera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become a whole again. All I need is 100 rupees. Super easy, super simple. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. I only have 70, bro. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order to regain my power, I'll need 100 rupees. <laughs> I can't do here you go. Let's see what happens. What's this? You don't have enough rupees. How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. Wow. Let me go sell that opal. Pretty sure I can easily teleport there. Is this quicker? Mm. Pretty sure that was like just as fast. If I was just gonna walk. Okay, I'm gonna sell this. Probably clothing shop. Oops. Wanna sell. How much are these? Dang, just two? That's stupid. I don't think these have any medicinal purpose. This lovely flower has was said to have been a favorite of the Princess of Hyrule. Once feared to have gone extinct, it's recently been spotted growing in the wild. <laughs> okay, so that gives me 130 rupees. Let's head back up and run. Nice. Hey. Kotsla. Mommy's hiding, but I'll find her. What? Have your money. Ah, you've returned. Now, you had the rupees for me, right? Hand them over quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 100 rupees. Here you go. Calm down. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. What a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after an, after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Enhance away! So this is super awesome. I have a bunch of bow coblin horns, so let's just enhance this real quick. Mm. This will bring them each to five. 
which is 15 uh. armor. All right, let me do my thing. I'm only gonna do this one once. <sighs> yes, so magic. Hylian Hood. Uh. All finished, just a bit stronger now. Oh, you've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all been enhanced twice could have a bonus. Yes, but only if you wear the whole set. Well, and not all sets have a bonus. Do you want me to enhance any of your other clothes? Yes, very much. So for, oh, okay. Mm. Yes, I'll skip ah. that. All right, so let me do my thing. All finished. One more. Mm. Yes, please. Ah. Right, let me do my thing. So what's ah. the set bonus? I thought I would improve some other clothes for you, but it looks like that's not possible right now. Please come back here once you get some clothes and materials. Or once you've restored the power of my sisters. See you later. Thanks. This is always a nice song. So now, altogether it's 15, but what's a set bonus? Well, I guess we'll find out later. 